Sup guys, it's Tenkosh, and today we're doing America Guide in Super Snail. So yes, the new region, the new mechanics, and this one is a bit complicated, so stay tuned for more details. So yeah guys, America is available straight after Cathay, and uh, well, you will know when you're ready to go here. Usually, you will finish all Cathay Generals by the time, and uh, then you can go here. When you go in... Um, it's a really good idea to make sure that you're ready because this one is a bit more complex and it's a bit complicated as well. So uh, the main idea when you start the run, right after you start, you have, to, you have to go to the Intel and here you have to explore a side and you can either explore North Army or South Army. And here you would like to pick the North Army at the beginning because those guys they will give you way more stats. So beginner, well, honestly, for the most runs, you would like to go for this one. Why? I will tell you why. Well, there are no that actually saying the same stuff here, but yeah. Keep in mind that when you selecting the North Army, you are siding with the South, so you are basically challenging the North. All right, so confirm. There we go. And after that, you will get a bunch of the heroes here that you can fight, and uh, you will have the set of heroes that you'll be able to get. So in order to get the hero, you will have to defeat the apostle it's pretty simple let me actually speed up through the run so you can see everything all areas let's go all right exploration ends we got a lot of events actually and yeah let's go back here bam there we go we got the heroes here and those heroes are marvel heroes and yes once you defeat them once you can hire them as your uh, hero that you will go with and uh, here you would like to have two setups first one is for farming and second one is for fighting so right now when you're doing the farming you would like to do this you would like to get widow in white because she gives you intel as you level her up she will get additional stats and additional intel bonus that is being uh, used when she is riding with you and you can add other heroes later on i'll tell you how uh, in a minute after we'll discuss the heroes and yes her stats over here will convert into snail stats that will make your snail stronger but mostly we are taking her for the intel bonus and those guys that are additional heroes they can be changed on the go basically so right now we have locust that will give us beat that pulse gain and we have the general as that will give us cells obtained because those are really good for farming when you're doing the run you don't need to fight anyone then when you are done with this run, you can go to the spider guy if you defeat him and select him as your main hero. What's cool that once you select your main hero, your additional heroes will be set in stone. So like I've set it once and now I can select the main hero, switch between them and I will get the right teams ready to go so I won't have to manually assign them. That's really cool. So yeah, why spider guy? Because he gives snail attack, which is, well, obviously cool. And then we got two other guys. We've got Rockman that will give us snail HP for the hard fights. Now when I can defeat most enemies and I'm trying to overcome them, we would like to switch this one for more aggressive one. And we have Star Child that gives us defense. Again, for the harder fights to overcome the tougher enemies and that kind of stuff. So with this setup, you can fight bosses easier. Other than that, for offense, you might want to go with Thundersmith because he gives rush bonus, but in order to get the rush bonus, you need higher stats than your opponent. So if you have that, go for him for advanced tactics, aggressive tactics to take out the enemies. Moreover, don't forget that you can select Sacred Mirror for the tough fights and switch it to Lubu for finishing of the enemies in order to get extra DPS. If you've seen my cafe guide beforehand, that will tell you more details about Lubu and how good he is and Mirror obviously is good from the Japan guide. Other than that, we got the Southern Heroes. You can select any heroes that you want for your run, so it doesn't necessarily have to be one side. Once you unlock the heroes, you can use all of them, but uh, Southern Heroes will only side with the Southern Heroes, and Northern Heroes will only side with the Northern Heroes, so you can't mix them together. As you can see, for the Southern Heroes, the bonuses are kind of the same. They are more uh, friendly, I would say they are more focused on farming. You get double cards here, you get double reagents, defense bonus, HP bonus, cells obtained, snail attack, snail movement speed that will allow you to go through the run faster, which is pretty cool, beat that pulse obtained, and snail rush. So so you get some offensive stats here as well basically the same stuff but why you would like to go with the northern guys is mainly because of widow in the white who gives you intel bonus because you will need a lot of intel here to do all the upgrades so yeah let's go over the intel once again you get two intel tabs here one for mecha another one for biochem when you will be running the mecha runs uh once you do some upgrades here 
on the map you will see mecha lab and nuclear fusion lab so those are unique arsenal as well i think those are unique mecha buildings and they will switch to bio buildings when you switch the sides on the next run you will need those to enchant the heroes so when you enchant them you get additional stats and uh, uh northern heroes mostly use first two types of resources and southern heroes mostly use uh other two types of resources but when they level up high enough they will start requiring the other side resources in order to get stronger so yes it's important to do both sides well not at the same time but from time to time that will allow you to make your heroes stronger what happens when you get your heroes to the max well uh you will get the bonuses nothing crazy and you will get honor points that are being used to do something not sure what exactly yet so because of that you would like to invest a lot into mecha because you will need a lot of intel and uh, here the most important thing it will be advised to go for it will be flying star banner it feels like useless at the first upgrade but after that you can get additional available adjutant that means that you can get more heroes in your run that means you will be getting more stats the second important node is for mecha as well available adjutants as well over here here it's called strategic supplies and uh when you defeat the postal gain one america treasure map with some chance and available adjutant is really important other than that well you gotta focus on the middle row as always to get more intel for the runs and unlock new areas war machine upgrade is really important as well because uh northern heroes can be transformed and become stronger and same at the very bottom super war machines that will allow them to get more stats and get higher level that will make you and your team stronger outside Side of that work on the labs because that will allow you to get more faction specific resources for the runs that's important and basically all the upgrades here are kind of worth it i haven't found anything here that's useless other than not unlocked ones this one industrial revolution will give us a wormhole refinement speed which we don't have available yet so why should we spend resources on this right now and another one is commander in chief that will give us uh white tadpoles for recruiting heroes and training them that's like uh not that crazy but everything else here is like really cool because if you're running mecha runs all the time you will get a lot of those cool bonuses here for the biochem it's kind of the same stuff here you will need to go the middle row in order to unlock the maps so you will have to progress this map anyway as you can see i haven't played this one too much because i'm playing mecha mostly and now i unlock britain already and i'm ready for that so i'm not pushing this map too much right now and once again if you will be running bio builds uh, against the south you will need biochem lab and you will need this one psychic lab that will make it higher tier and will give you more resources other than that supply chain is good it will give you supply boxes per victory and most of the nodes here are actually pretty good all of those are nice and i want to get all of them because they give you pretty cool buffs i did some upgrades to unlock additional nodes so those are not as crazy Huh, what the hell is this? So this is an option to buy lottery tickets for big deadpools, which is pretty cool actually, specifically for the lottery event. This one will give us uh, more stats for dominated apostles, and that's actually pretty good. Let's get it. Since we already get some guys dominated, that will help us to become stronger. Oh my god, that's getting expensive. So things here are kind of the same. Um... I think they're kind of mirrored so you can see significant difference here so yeah that's what we have for the intel basically yes you would like to get it all and you will get it in couple of runs before you probably will be able to finish it because the fights here are getting really really tough so now let's switch our heroes to the combat ones did we already did that not sure there we go we're getting the combat build here and let's try to defeat those guys what's cool about america that here you need to defeat enemy in three turns in order to dominate them so you don't need to go for uh two rounds anymore if you can do it in three rounds you're good probably we won't be able to or maybe we can let's see bam ah so close it will be four rounds so yeah we're not dominating anyone this time but yeah we can take them all out right now and do another run with lubo and try to do better because those guys are weak already and we can do that let's move on to the card redemption now so uh here you get well i haven't seen anything really unique and special here other than the gear that you will need to upgrade your item for exploration is always the unique uh, exploration gun that should go to the red color because it's really good and will help you quite a lot so yeah i haven't seen anything unique and 
crazy good here. So yeah, no special unlocks here, just get what you want. And uh, early on, I would advise you guys to focus on Intel to get small boost to, at the start of the run. And after that, well, yeah, you can get whatever you can. So there are no game changers here, to be honest. Of course, uh, injections are good because they will give you more stats. But other than that, it's, it's pretty straightforward here. Nothing crazy. Let me finish the exploration uh, runs here. And oh yeah, by the way, for the stats, for finishing most of those uh, small events on the map, you would like to get closer to 10k stats because this is the area where you already need that. So 9,500, something like that. Will be good to finish most of those. Let me see if we get something special here. Yeah, this one requires 9.8k already, which is quite a lot if you ask me. So um, yeah, this is basically the milestone 10k when you can go to the next, to the Britain map, before that you would like to keep running in America, otherwise it will be inefficient, you will be spending, um, you won't be getting that many resources per run. There we go, 8.7k, let's go get it. And what's another unique thing about America map, that when you defeat your normal bosses there, like when you defeat the normal enemies, you will get unique boss. For mech guys, it's Omegatron. In order to dominate him, uh, to find his weakness, you need... 11.3k Civ, which is crazy amount right now. I don't have even 10k. And those guys are goddamn strong. So those bosses are real bosses. People are losing a 2.2 million power. I have 1.6 right now. And you need about 3 million, I guess. So uh, yeah, it will be hard. Let me show you how easily he defeats me. So we're fighting this guy. We are not ready for pushing him. And bam... He is doing crazy damage to us. Let's skip the fight when it's available. Come on. There we go. So we took out maybe fifth of his health. So it's not really a good option for us. But overall, for exploring America like that, you get about 500 exploration value. Almost the same as Cathay. I would say Cathay might be even better because you get more bonuses in the end. But uh, you need to test it for yourself which one works better for you. So right, let's switch this one to Lubu. Can we do this? No, we can't unseal him. All right, and see how it will work for us. Maybe we will be able to get better results. Right now, let's go against South Army so you will see how different heroes looks like. And as I said, you don't really have to uh, use different heroes. You can go with the heroes of any faction and it will do. So we will go with Widow in White again and now Farming setup here. We can even upgrade those guys a bit more to get more gains for the runs, which is uh, always a nice thing, right? And as you can see in this uh, map, probably the problem will be upgrading those guys because I haven't upgraded all the northern heroes yet and I haven't even started upgrading the southern heroes. So it will take a while, a lot of runs and you will need a lot of resources to get it right. So yeah, let's go through all areas again. And this time for other side, we got different boss. Uh, Doombringer, who is, well, actually just as powerful as a Megatron. So let's switch to the aggressive build right now and try to defeat more apostles, maybe dominate someone that will give us actual stuff. We defeated five already here. As you can see, you get the DC Comics heroes, so kinda the same guys, but different. I just love the reference. So let's challenge them with Lubo and see how it will go. All right, Amazing Queen. Let's go. Uh, Lubu is taking insane damage, but we are doing pretty decent damage as well. We might be able to do it in three turns. Hell yeah, we managed. Lubu is gone though, so domination happened. Uh, but our hero isn't here anymore. Alright, so yeah, after that Lubu will be gone and you won't be able to use him anymore. And, well, you don't need to him anymore because you managed to push as fast, as far as you can. Oh, look, we got incense for this run. This is pretty cool. I like it. So yeah, let's try to defeat more apostles on another side right now with Lubu and see how it will go. Our Lubu survived and we defeat Thundersmith, well, Thor basically, in a really good time and probably that's where we will get stuck so probably i won't be able to do that yep oh we managed to defeat her in three rounds as well that's cool so we dominated two more apostles and uh, from here i guess we need to get stronger basically so uh, yeah yep wolf is being defeated in four turns already so we can't really dominate him anymore uh lupu resurrected by the way which is unexpected in any case that's what we get and you know what i like about america it seems that you don't need to upgrade 
all the heroes here. So in order to 100% the map for key clue records, I don't see anything that requires to get uh, all the heroes maxed out, which is new and unique. I like that because that will take a while. In any case, at this point, somewhere around 1.7 million, you can start trying Britland again. Well, not again, but for the first time, because I don't know, I, I can run a few Americas as well, but it feels in terms of resources, Cathay will give me more boosts and I've got most of the America. Um, but in order to defeat the bosses there, you will need 3 million, so you won't be able to master the map completely and get everything from it until that time. And it will take a while. But yeah, defeating those tough bosses in the end will probably unlock you America trait, which is not available right now for us and uh i'm really curious what it is so let me know in the comments if you think it's cool or not because it will take me about a couple of months to get enough power to get there so yeah guys that's about it for america guide right now i hope you've enjoyed it let me know if you get extra tips for the players on america and for me because yeah mastering those tough bosses is really hard and i can still get enough uh, choreo intel i'm doing those runs once in a while and hoping to get enough but it's so slow and yeah don't forget that your likes comments and subscribes help to promote the video on youtube algorithm so all those things will help out and uh, check out the video description for additional link ld player that will allow you to play this and other android games on the pc my other youtube channel social media discord and uh, playlist with uh, the rest of the videos for super snail other than that guys thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stay in course out have a good one bye